Hey, check this out. I hope you've seen one of these before. It is, of course, a compass. Its purpose is to help people understand where they are in relation to their world, to orient themselves in a new place. A compass is the icon for this Blender video training series entitled Orientation. You can probably guess that the purpose of this series is to familiarize yourself with Blender before the work of actually making 3D stuff. This is an important step for a program as complex as Blender, and it'll help prevent you from feeling too overwhelmed by new information in the future. This video is a quick introduction to the orientation series. In it, I will answer four questions. Who is it for? What will you learn? What won't you learn? And how do you get started? Let's get to it. This series is for absolutely anyone interested in 3D content creation. Men, women, children, grandmas, babies, iguanas, even inner tubes. But it is recommended for absolute beginners. You need no prior knowledge with Blender or other computer graphics software. I do assume that you can handle a keyboard and mouse and no basic computer terms. Now having said that, if you have some experience with CG already, this series may not be for you. If you've already created a 3D model with Blender, it's probably a bit too basic. However, if you find more advanced training by How to Blend to be too difficult to understand, consider coming back to this series for a review. The orientation series will introduce you to the Blender community and tell you all you need to know about how to get Blender on your computer, how the user interface works, and how to view things within Blender with perfect control. To this end, the series is divided into three topics, which I've named Getting Started, User Interface, and Navigation. Each topic contains four videos. The first three explain some aspect of the topic, and the last one is always the final challenge, so I usually leave it out of these graphics. You won't actually learn how to make anything in this series. It's like learning how the pottery wheel works before touching any clay. In fact, you won't even learn how to select an object. And let me add, this is not a series about how to become a good artist. How to Blend is more interested in improving your technical skills with the software rather than your artistic abilities. Now, if that sounds like no fun, I can understand how you feel, but I'm also gonna call you a liar because it will be fun because I'm teaching it and it will be fun. And it really is important to lay a foundation for the complexity we'll encounter later on. The best way to do a series with How to Blend is to watch one video a day while doing the challenge at the end of each video. The videos have been designed with this principle in mind, which is why you'll notice frequent reviews of previous material from video to video. I will say though that the orientation series is a bit of an exception and some topics, especially getting started, could be completed in one sitting. This is simply because the content is very basic and you've probably done similar tasks before. Another thing, pay special attention to these icons when you see them appear. They indicate especially important information you should try to remember. Hotkeys or keyboard shortcuts, locations for important operations, and concepts, which are CG specific and not limited to Blender, but all 3D creation software. So that is the orientation series in a very small nutshell, like a hazelnut or pistachio nut or what's smaller than a pistachio? Comment below if you know any shelled nuts smaller than a pistachio. Don't do that though. That's stupid. I don't want you to, and I forbid it. I'm super excited to have you start learning computer graphics with me. My name is Jesse. This is How to Blend. See you later.